you see the first movie and you have the chance to pitch for the sequel, what was the vision you wanted to bring to I Rat? think what I liked about the first movie was the spectacle and the action. thought it was important to retain that and make it bigger. Um, and then, in addition, sort of delve into those characters more. It's such a great cast, and to sort of give those guys more room to play, that was important. So there's obviously all of the spectacle in this, but there's also like a four-generation saga of fathers and sons right. and, and that. How, what was the challenge of keeping that subtext sort of alive within all of the spectacle? Well, that's the challenge of the movie. I think if you want to care about the action, you have to understand at least what's going on with these characters and why things matter to them. And obviously we all have fathers or have had fathers and so we you know what if you understand what's at stake for the characters and their families hopefully you care more about the action piece and what are the challenges in pacing that and sort of allowing those moments to breathe sufficiently so that they have meaning it's tough i mean what you do is you play it for a lot of audiences you see what's working and what's not and ultimately you try and perfect the flow of the movie for the audience that loves it you know and the actors have all been very enthusiastic about the 3D in this movie compared to the first. What was your approach to that? Well, the first movie had six weeks to post-convert. On this movie, we had a year to convert. Things were planned for 3D. You can't compare the two because technically this one is, is so much more advanced just on a technical level. And also we have moments that were planned in 3D. And already, it's, I mean, the response we've got is just... 180 degrees different as far as the 3D. What were the advantages to you in doing a post-conversion rather than shooting with the 3D camera? It allowed me to shoot on film, but um, I thought when I saw Harry Potter post-converted, um, it was a fantastic job, and so we got the same team that did that to work on uh, Wrath. And you're also working on the Ninja Turtles movie. Have this, has it been exciting the past week or so to just see how engaged people are about that, Very, regardless of the controversy? No, it's amazing. I mean, that's incredible to have that sort of passionate fan base. Is, it's like humbling. It, you, I'm a fan myself. I grew up with the Turtles in South Africa. And so to see that people actually still care so much is exciting. Give me just a quick bit of your approach to it and how you're going to sort of keep the fidelity. Well, we just started. I mean, what where... I think fans will be super excited. We're sitting down. I'm, I've been in before this junk had locked in a room with Kevin Eastman, who co-created them and drew the first turtle. We've been figuring out exactly how we want to expand things and where we want these uh, characters to go. And fans will not be disappointed at all. Every single thing we're doing is tying right back into the mythology. Nothing people love is going to be left out.